to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me using the new Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection. And I don't have all of them, but these are the three that I purchased. As soon as I got an email saying that the Tutti Frutti collection was out, I got really excited and I went on their website and I purchased these. You do get a makeup bag from Too Faced. And I think this bag is my new favorite makeup bag because it's just really cute and I feel like also because it's see-through it's nice and I think it was like you buy $50 worth of like the new collection or something and they give you a makeup bag I don't know if they're still doing it but uh, do check it out if you're curious to how I created this makeup look using the new Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection then just keep on watching Bring that down and then I'm going to go in with this gold shade I'm so excited to use this gold shade because um, I think this is like one of the colors that I like the best and then also I'm going to put that here Let's just put that all over the eyelid as well I'm also going to use the same brush and just bring this towards the bottom waterline as well. And then I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. Just adding this in to the outer lid. And then with this, I'm going to add this in at the outer third. And I'm actually going to try to use this green color, bring this in in the middle. Right here. They do have like a little bit of shimmer shades So I think I might add this one to the inner corner I'm going to use this eyeliner This is in dark brown but it looks pretty much like a black eyeliner I'm going to use this mascara from Too Faced. I think for the bottom lashes, I'm going to be using this brown mascara. This is the Ardell 110. I'm going to put eyeliner on top. Just so the last lash glue doesn't show. To curl the lashes together. Uh, 
I think I'm first going to use the bronzer and the highlighting duo. This one is in Pineapple Sun. That's what it looks like, the packaging. I feel like the bronzer is like going to be good for my shade and then the highlighter too. dark for me yet but I do kind of feel like it's a little bit too orange for my skin tone I feel like when I see it in real life it's not as bad as when I see it in the viewfinder I do feel like this is a little bit dark for me Packaging is so cute. That is the packaging. And that is the shade. Ooh, this one smells like a shower gel or something. Okay, that's really pigmented. When I purchased this, I said that I got this because of the packaging. I liked it the most when I saw the other blushes. I liked the shade, but I liked the packaging of this most, so I just got this one. And I thought that the shade, the blush shade was a little bit too dark, but because there's like two shades and you can mix them when you're using them, it's not really that dark. And I feel like this is such a pretty shade. And then we're gonna go back into this and then use this highlighter. This one also has a scent to it too, but it's kind of subtle. I feel like if I were to use these again, I would probably use the blush the most and then maybe the eyeshadow palette and then the bronzer, I don't think, not so much. For the lips today, I'm using the I'm Mimi I'm TikTok Lipstick Satin in 7 Pink Bomber. And then it's just this type of shade, like a nice pink. is the completed makeup look i thought i would show you guys a close-up version of what the makeup look looks like thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye